Welcome to the Fitting Bay guys, my name is Nathan. Today I just want to do a quick video showing you guys how to solder your connections. Um, we'll do, pretty much I'll show you how not to solder your connections. We'll go through how to strip the wires and how to get them connected up nicely. First thing we want to do is strip our wires, okay? So if you've got wire strippers, nice and easy. You can go ahead and strip that wire. And we'll do the same for the other two. Once the wire is stripped, you can twist the insulation as you pull up and it will give you a nice finish on the copper. We'll go ahead and mimic that on our other plug. If you've just pulled the insulation up, you can go ahead and just twist it like that as well. Okay guys, so the way we want to connect our two wires together is pretty much like this, so that they're in line. And now the best way to do that is to just make sure the copper is touching each other and cross them over like that. And then go ahead and wrap the copper around the corresponding wire. Just like that. So now with our hot soldering iron, what we want to go and do is pretty much get the tip onto the copper and start feeding the solder through. Okay, now what we're waiting for is the um, solder to bleed right through the copper, just like that. All right guys, that is a good solder connection. So what you do not want to do is twist your wires like that. And in terms of soldering, what you don't want to do is just get a little blob on the side, just like that. I'll bring that closer for you. All right, it's barely bled through. It hasn't bled through at all that is not a solder connection that you want, okay? This is what we want, a solder connection that has bled all the way through. Next up, we wanna get a bit of insulation tape or PVC tape on a very slight angle, attach it, and then just start wrapping it around. This is much faster than heat shrink, and it's a lot easier, and it is just as secure, okay? And then once you've finished, you can either get another layer of insulation tape and wrap up the whole loom, or you can go fabric tape and then, you know, it'll look something like that when it's finished. All right guys, that is how you solder your connections like a professional. We do this day in, day out. We never have any issues with connections. Our, our jobs don't come back because of bad wiring and faulty connections and all this rubbish, all right? We do things properly here. Um, hopefully that helped you guys. If you do have any questions, just drop a comment below. Uh, if there's anything else you wanna see, drop a comment below. We're happy to help and we'll catch you in the next one.